Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2023. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering Genesis 10 through 12 and Matthew 4. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. The Table of Nations, Genesis 10. This is the account of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Noah's sons, who themselves had sons after the flood. The Jesuphets, the sons of Jesuph, Gomer, Magog, Medei, Javan, Tubal, Mishak, and Tyrus. The sons of Gomer, Ashkenza, Rephatha, and Tagarma. The sons of Javan, Elisha, Tershisha, the Kettles, and the Rodnites. From these, the maritime people spread out into their territories by their clans within their nations, each with its own language. The Hamites, the sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put and Canaan, the sons of Cush, Seba, Hav, Havla, Sabatha, Rama, and Sabateka, the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan. Cush was the father of Nimrod, who became a mighty warrior on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. That is why it is said, like Nimrod, a mighty hunter before the Lord. The first centers of his kingdom were Babylon, Eukara, Akkadah, and Kalin, in Shinar. From that land he went to Asia, where he built Mivina, Rehoboth, Ir. Kala and Resen, with which is between Nineveh and Kala, which is the great city. Egypt was the father of the Ludites, Anamites, Lehivites, Nephthalites, Pursuits, Kassalushites, from whom the Philistines came, and Kephoterites. Cain was the father of Sidon, his firstborn, and of the Hittites, Jebusites, Amorites, Gergesites, Hivites, Archetites, Cenotites, Ar Arbaldites. Some, uh, some rites and Hamathites. Later, the Canaan, Canaanites clans scattered, and the borders of Canaan reached from Sidon toward Gerar, and from as far as Gaza, and then toward Sodom, Gomorrah, Adama, and Zebedeon. So, sorry, Zobaya, as far as Lusha. These are the sons of Ham by their clans and languages in their territories and nations. The Semites' sons were also born to Shem, whose older brother was Japheth. Shem was the ancestor of all the sons of Eber, the sons of Shem. Elam, Asher, Arafax, Lud, and Aram, the sons of Aram, Buzz, Hull, Gaither, and Meshach. Arafax was the father of Shilha, and Shilha the father of Eber. 
the two sons were born of Ever. One was named Peleg, because in his time the earth was divided. His brother was named Jokotan. Jokotan was the father of Alamhad, Shalef, Hazarmabed, Jerah, Hadorama, Ozel, Dikalha, or Abel, Abomil, Sheba, Opera, Havalia, and Jabada. Yeah, Jabad, sorry. All these were sons of Jakta. The region were, where they lived stretched from Misha towards Sephra in the eastern hill country. These are the sons of Shem by their clans and languages in their territories and nations. These are the clans of Noah's sons according to their lines of descendants. Within their nations, from these, the nations spread out over the earth after the flood. The Tower of Babel Genesis 11 Now the whole world had one language and a common speech. As people moved eastward, they found a plan in Shinir and settled there. They said to each other, Come, let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They used the bricks instead of stone and tar for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens, so that we may make a name for ourselves. Otherwise, we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower the people were building. The Lord said, If, as one people speaking the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language, so they will not understand each other. And so the Lord scattered them from their over all the earth, and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the languages of the whole world. From there the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. From Shem to Abraham. This is the account of Shem's family line. Two years after the flood, when Shem was one hundred years old, he became the father of Erephaxed. And after he became the father of Arapaxed, Shem lived five hundred years and had other sons and daughters. Now when Arapaxed had lived thirty-five years, he became the father of Shila. And after he became the father of Shila, and after he became, whoops, uh, Arapaxed lived uh, four hundred and three years and had other sons and daughters. Now, when Shilha had lived thirty years, he became the father of Eber. And after he became the father of Eber, Shilha lived four hundred and three years and had other sons and daughters. When Eber had lived thirty-four years, he became the father of Peleg. And after he became the father of Peleg, Eber lived four hundred and thirty years and had other sons and daughters. Now, when Peleg had lived thirty years, he became the father of Ru. And after he became the father of Ru, Peleg lived two hundred and nine years, and had other sons and daughters. Now, when Ru had lived thirty-two years, he became the father of Surj. And after he became the father of Surj, Ru lived two hundred and seven years and had other sons and daughters. Now when Surj had lived thirty years, he became the father of uh, Nehor. 
and after he became the father of Nahor, Serge lived two hundred years and had other sons and daughters. Now, when Nahor had lived twenty-nine years, he became the father of Terah. And after he became the father of Terah, Nahor lived one hundred and nineteen years and had other sons and daughters. After Terah had lived seventy years, he became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran, Abraham's family. This is the account of Terah's family line. Terah became the father of Abraham, Nahor, and Haran, and Haran became the father of Lot, while his father Terah was still alive. Haran died in Europe and of the Chaldeans in the land of his birth. Now Abraham and Nahor both married the name of Adam's wife was Sarah, or, and the name of Nahor's wife was Milcah, Milka, and she was the daughter of Haran, the father of both Melka and Ishka. Now, Siri was childless because she was not able to conceive Sarari. Now, uh, Trek took his son Abram, his grandson Lot, son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarah, the wife of his son Abram, and together they set out from Ur on the children childrens to go to Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. Terah lived two hundred and five years, and he died in Haran. The call of Abraham. Genesis 12. The Lord had said to Abram, Go from your country, your people and your father's household, into the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you I will curse and all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went on as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Now Abram was seventy-five years old when he set out from Haran, and he took his wife Sarai and his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated, and they, the people, they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. Abram traveled through the land as far as the site of the great tree of Morah at Shishim. At the, that time, the Canaanites were in the land. They, the Lord, appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord, who had appeared to him. From there he went on toward the hills east of Bethel, and pitched his tent, with Bethel on the west, and I on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord, and called on the name of the Lord. Then Abram set out and continued toward the Negev, Abram in Egypt. Now there was a famine in the land, and Abram went down to Egypt to live there for a while, because the famine was severe. And as he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife, Sari, I know what a beautiful woman you are, and when the Egyptians see you, they will say, This is his wife, then they will kill me, 
but will let you live. Say that you are my sister, so that I will be treated well for your sake, and my life will be spared because of you. Well, when Abram came to Egypt, the Egyptians saw that Sari was a very beautiful woman, and when Pharaoh's officials saw her, they praised her to the Pharaoh, and she was taken into his palace. He treated Abram well for her sake, and Abram acquired sheep and cattle, male and female donkeys, male and female servants, and camels. But the Lord inflicted serious diseases on Pharaoh and his household because of Abram's wife, Sahari. Now, so Pharaoh summoned Abram. What have you done to me? He said. Why didn't you tell me she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister so that I too and I took her to be my wife. And now then, here is your wife. Take her and go. Then Pharaoh gave orders about Abram to his men, and they sent him on his way. With his wife and everything they had. That was Genesis 10 through 12. Now we will be turning to Matthew 4. Okay, Matthew 4. Okay, Jesus is tested in the wilderness. Matthew 4. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, that man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down from, for it is written, he sh will Command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high place, on a very high mountain, and he showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give to you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. And Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and angels came and they attended to him. Jesus begins to preach. When Jesus heard that John had been put in prison, he withdrew to Galilee, leaving Nazareth, and he went and lived in Capernaum, which was by the lake in the area of Zebulun and Naphtali, to fulfill what was said through the prophet Isaiah, land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way of the sea, beyond the Jordan's Galilee of the Gentiles. The people living in darkness have seen a great light on those living in the land of the shadow of death. A light has drawn a light is dawned, sorry, on those living in 
in the land of the shadow of death a light has dawned and from time of from that time on jesus began to preach repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near jesus calls his first disciples as jesus was walking out beside the sea of galilee he saw two brothers simon called peter and his brother andrew and they were casting the net, a net into this lake and for they were fishermen Come, follow me, Jesus said. I will, make, will send you out to fish for men. At once they left their nets and followed him. And going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, and they were in a boat with their father. Zebedee preparing their nets are repairing are preparing their nets and jesus called them and immediately they left the boat and their father and they followed him jesus heals the sick jesus went throughout galilee teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and headed ever healed every disease and sickness among the people. News about him spread all over the Syria, Syria, oh, spread all over Syria, and people brought to him all who were ill with various diseases, those suffering severe pain that the demon possessed, those having seizures, and the paralyzed, and he healed them. Large crowds from Galilee and Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and the regions across the Jordan followed him. Oh, that was it. That was Matthew 4. Which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. I, Shenandoah Frisco, have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. Tomorrow we will be covering Genesis 13 through 15 and Matthew 5 1 through 26. Thank you so very much. Father, I just thank you for your Word, because if it were not for your Word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the Word. So I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. All right, folks. Hey, that does it for the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow because God will and will be here. And we hope that you are too. Please like and share.